and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet. Today is the 15th of October and I did say in yesterday's vlog that I won't be filming today. Well, I will be filming today, but I won't be posting it up. So this will be Saturday morning, Saturday evening that you're watching this. So today I'm doing something a bit different. I am fasting all day and then just having around a 600 calorie tea. And that is just because... I went far too over on Sunday and I'm not going to meet my target of a pound a week unless I try and do something drastic. Oh, he's yapping to come in. Let me just let her in. Yeah, I'll be having around 600 calories today. So I will show you what my evening meal is and I'll tell you how I feel at the time that I have it. I feel fine now. I'm just, I'm not following any rules. I know some people with fasting, they'll not have fizzy drinks on that have sugar-free squash i will be i will be having that um i mean you can have caffeine and stuff like that but obviously i only have it in diet coke anyway so i'm not cutting my drinks out i will be counting calories as always in my drinks um but yes i will show you everything that i eat today and then we'll have a chat saturday morning about my plans for the week ahead obviously i want to see what i weigh tomorrow morning and then um, we'll chat about it but seeing my friend yesterday at work and how amazing she's done with um intermittent fasting she's just done fabulous so it has definitely given me a little boost and a little motivation to try something a little bit different i'm still going to be sticking to the calories because every diet it's down to calories and why intermittent fasting works is because you're cutting calories out you're eating less within a smaller window so, yes, I will catch up with you all in a bit. Snipped in Tesco's just for some little bits. I just needed milk and pop, which I've obviously got there. I wanted some chicken fillets because we're going to have them tonight for tea. I want something really nice um, and healthy. I want protein. I want vegetables. So that's what I'm going to be having. I've got some clusters because they're on offer. 200 calories for 45 grams. Cornflakes, which are my favourite, 30 grams is 113. I got these little fingers. I've already decorated ours, but I keep adding every year a little bit more. So warning things. These are for in the trick-or-treat bell. I'm not sure on calories or everything. So um curly whirly is 63 calories. Chomp, 54 calories. Blake, 73 calories. Fudge, 60 calories. Twirl, 74 calories. So they're perfect for your snack tin, really, aren't they, for calorie wise? And the Freddo and Friends. So for the Fudge, 60 calories. For the Kayla Whirly, 63 calories. The Caramel Freddo is 97 calories. And the normal Freddo, 96 calories. I'm gonna pop this away and start work. What are you doing on there, little monkey? Getting airs all over my settee. It's a good job you're blooming cute, isn't it? Hey, it's a good job you're blooming cute. Got all this air coming out of her. She only had a brush a couple of days ago as well. It is very satisfying now. Right, let's put that in the bin. <laughs> Say bye bye to everyone, Bonnie. You've even got it on my carpet. Look at that. Oh, big yawn. <laughs> oh, little update about fasting day one. It is 25 to 12, and I have just started getting hungry. So it just shows that you just eat for the sake of eating. Because it's half 11 now, so I could easy kind of wait till 12 if I decided to do the um, the intermittent fasting. I would have missed breakfast food though, but I could have breakfast food for dinner, have something a bit bigger. So it is definitely something to consider. Obviously it's rumbling now. I'm not eating till around half past four or five o'clock, so we'll see how I get on, but I'll give you updates. But I'm happy, I feel fine. Um, and I've just started getting a rumble in my tumble. So we'll um, see how I feel by five o'clock. I have been cleaning. That's um, <laughs> decorations for Halloween. So I'm really hungry now. And um, 
obviously I've worked out my tea I've worked out what calories it's going to be and I were going to have a snack after tea but I've decided because my belly's rumbling now I'm going to have something now so obviously it's not going to take me over 600 calories so I'll show you what I'm having this is what I'm going to have I'm going to have a satsuma which works out at 29 calories for that and then I'm having a fiber one bar for 88 calories um, I've worked tea out and I'm going to be having this. It's going to be divided by four people and plenty of veg and stuff. So I will um, show you tea when we have it. And it works out at just under 500 calories. Four, well, 400 and odd calories. So I think with what I've estimated and my drinks, it comes out 606 calories. But I'll obviously show you. I'm hoping this is going to stop... Because I'm going into a meeting in a minute. It's, it's um, just gone 12 now. I'm going into a meeting. I'm hoping this will stop my belly rumbling. <laughs> so I'm just cooking tea. And obviously it's the only meal I'm having today. And I've, I've got this for the first time. I usually have the mushroom one. I've got this um, creamy white wine. And I've got a bad feeling that I'm not going to like it. <laughs> I can smell it and it's too strong or alcohol. I don't think I'm going to like it, but obviously it's the only meal I'm going to have, so I need to try and enjoy it. I've done loads of vegetables with it, and I've done some roasted potatoes, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm not, not liking the smell, and it's got like loads of carrots in. So this is tea for 529 calories. So we are on day two of this vlog, which means it is Saturday. And it means it's way day. So what did I expect? I don't know what I expected, to be honest, because obviously I've only got it set to a pound loss and I've not been very well this week. I'm feeling much better today. Still feel a bit groggy, but overall lots better than I have done all week. So I went over calories Sunday and Thursday I think it were or Wednesday um so on Friday I decided to drop my calories to around 600 um and I did that I had between 600 and 700 but I felt really like bunged up um very bloated so yeah I woke up this morning not feeling very very good and I thought I must be looking at a game because I don't feel very like much thinner and I've weighed myself last week I weighed in at 12 stone 9 and this morning I've weighed in at 12 stone 9 so it's a maintain so I'm still not sure what I'm going to do this week I'm just going to just keep it set to a, a pound I think have today is an easy day and just see how I get on whether I do intermittent fasting or whether I do a day where I fast until the evening, I don't know. I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm going to weigh myself every day. I really, really want to have a £2 loss this week. I want to feel well enough to go to the gym, um, which I'm hoping I'll get back on Monday. So, yeah, I just want to... I'm not going to put pressure on myself. I'm going to just play it one day at a time and see how I get on. I think after I've had my operation and I've had the week off with the kids, I might introduce intermittent fasting and have a six or an eight hour window. I'd prefer a six hour window just because I don't eat after six anyway and I have my breakfast after nine. So I'm already in a nine hour window. So eight hour window is not going to be much different for me. And the only time I eat after six really is if I've been gym, which I'll need food after anyway. So yeah, that's why I'm thinking either six or eight, eight when I'm at gym, six when I'm not. But this is not till I've had my operation on 25th of October and after that half term, because I'm off with kids. So I'm gonna take it a day at a time. I still want to lose the, um, the pound a week for Christmas which means I'm behind a week now so really do need to be losing two pound but like I said I'm not putting pressure on myself I'm just going to enjoy the week enjoy my food I've been shopping today which I'm going to show you 
um, and I'm I'm going to take it back to basics. I'm just going to eat food I like. I like processed foods with fresh foods. Um, I've not got myself any fresh meat other than fish and mince. Which I do a shepherd's pie with the, the mince. I think I'm going to do something like that. And yeah, other than that, I've got like processed meats, which I'm going to have with like fresh vegetables. So I'm just going to take it back to basics. Nothing too exciting this week. Don't want to try. I want to try and not have any fast food or chip shop this week. Just just meals in house. We're going out for a meal tonight to Cosmos, but I've set it as an easy day. So today should be fine. I'm not going to film my food today, I don't think. I might take photos and include it in here, but obviously it's so hard to count calories at Cosmos because it's a, an all-you-can-eat buffet. So it's pretty impossible. Um, so I'm not going to film today, but then I'm going to weigh myself Monday, see the results, um, what, what I'm weighing, and then decide how to go forward with the week. I'm thinking... Potentially Wednesday, having another lower calorie day. Whether I have a 600 or I might even just like have a 1,000 calorie day, I don't know. I'll see. But yesterday I felt absolutely fine doing it. Uh, like I said, my belly started rumbling and I had those little bits and then I had that tea and felt absolutely fine. Didn't feel weak or anything. So, yeah, it was it were, it were good to do. Felt absolutely fine doing it. So I would probably do it again. But it's not something that I want to do all the time. I did input it on NutriCheck to do the 5-2 diet. But what it does, it changes it to maintain calories. So your calories are a lot higher. So I compared it to calories I'm on now. And it were higher calories even though I'm dipping those days down. So I just didn't really understand it. You can't, you can't, like, you can't set it to lose any more than a pound. It's all set just to lose a pound or maintain so and then you can't put your own in so it confused me a little bit so yeah and I tried to set my own calories but you can only set it for a day I thought yeah I just it, it just confused me so whether I wing it or not but I'm quite happy on the calories that I've been on recently and I've been losing a steady pound a week which I'm really happy with it's just this week's obviously give me a bit of a knock with my bean pooler which means I've not done my walks to school. I've not done my gym. So I've been down um, the calories that I generally earn on a weekly basis. So I'm hoping this week's going to be a lot better. So stick with me and we'll see how I get on. So I hope you've all had really good weigh-ins this weekend and that you're on track for the Christmas weight loss. Um, I'm going to be back next week. I am. I'm going to lose it. So wish me luck. And um, I'm just going to chill out now. I've been busy all morning doing bits and bobs, but you'll see some more in the next few clips anyway. And then I will catch up with you later. So see you soon. So this is breakfast this morning. I've got 50 grams of Kellogg's Corn Flakes for 296 calories. So this is dinner. It's a pork sandwich and I've estimated it at 412 calories. So this is my shopping for this week to feed a family of four and a doggy and I've had to go to three places so this is from Own Bargains we're doing kales we shut my door duck so this is from Own Bargains Tesco and Aldi I've lost my Tesco receipt but I only bought these few anyway I just bought some toilet roll because I don't like the toilet roll from Own Bargains or um, Aldi, I'm very sensitive and yeah, my body likes a certain toilet roll <laughs> and that's kitchen roll and potatoes I don't like from Aldi so I've got some Mary Pipers and some baby potatoes. If you have potatoes every day like I do you'll realise that they are really really different and the Aldi potatoes are like, I, I, can't, I can't like cardboardy. I, it, I've, I've done them a few times, I've tried them different ways and they're just not for me. This is what I've got from my own bargains. I spent £28. There are a few things missing because 
I've just been shopping for my friend who's got COVID, so I've just left it on her doorstep. So, got some fairy that should last us for the month. Some aerial. I like this one with Febreze because it smells delish. Got some dental um, mouthwash. We prefer this one because it's um, alcohol free and it just leaves you feeling very fresh. Got this mold spray because obviously we've got the new bathroom fitted and I've noticed a little speck and it's where I can't get to it's like under the seal so I'm going to try spraying it and get it that way if not I'm gonna to have to rethink it and I've got it in my I've got mold on my bedroom window we've had people out I've had new windows I've had new seals and we don't know what's causing it I've had someone out to do my what you call it oh god what you call it when you have it the outside yeah pointing like pointing done so it's not that we just don't know what it is so i'm going to spray it try and clean it off and if not i'm going to wait till after the winter and then i have to scrape all the plaster off and yeah redo it um conditioner shampoo and conditioner i have to buy two conditioners because kaylee can't squeeze this one so when she didn't shower on her own so i get her this one because it's easier to squeeze some Colgate, some Toilet Doofy Dangler and some Pedigree for Bonnie. Then moving over to Aldi, how much did I spend? Again, there's some things missing because I got them for my friend with COVID. I've spent £57. Got some wholemeal bread, 91 calories. White bread, 95 calories. Some Teddy Faces, 93 calories. Some Brioche Buns for 157 calories um some par baked rolls for 191 calories some minced beef i think i might do a shepherd's pie one day i've got some margaritas they're 406 calories each so 812 for the full pizza which i think's quite good so i've got that i mean i don't eat pizza but it's for steve some cheese appeals never bought these before 58 her cheese some chicken my mind's just going blank honestly some little drinks for in alex's fridge eight calories each the large bad cards which are delicious which are 501 calories each some hot dog rolls for 151 calories and skin on fries which these are delicious and they are for 100 calories of cooked chips which is plenty it's 198 calories these for the kids the chocolate and hazelnut waffles 169 calories per waffle they do come in twin packs so obviously you double it up if you're having them both some ham 13 calories a slice chicken 13 calories a slice i'm buying the cheaper ham because it's lower calories it just it's better some mushrooms mayo 37 calories for a tablespoon apple juice for in alex's finger 90 calories um cartons some cauliflower pen stem broccoli normal broccoli brussels sprouts and carrots got these i think they were on offer that's why i got them <coughs> southern fried chicken 186 calories each the chicken steaks in batter <coughs> 172 calories bananas cider salmon some cheddar sticks they are 83 calories each some milk some ridges crisps 153 calories a bag bacon some yogurt 71 calories each some sugar-free squash and some corned beef 72 calories per slice and some salmon paste 51 calories for a third of the jar so i'm going to pop all this away have a tidy around the house and then i might go for a walk just off out for a little walk, just going to drive down to my mum's and have a walk around the field near my mum's. Um, I'd normally walk down there but it's a bit too far for Bonnie.